Shabbat Shalom, everybody. This week's parsha is Parshat Kedushim, and it is a treasure trove of dozens upon dozens of commandments that teaches us how to be holy. And the Torah says, Kedushim to you, we as a nation have to be a holy nation. Then it starts enumerating the first commandment, which was respecting our parents. So the Arachayim HaKadosh says, what's the connection? What's the connection between being holy and respecting your parents? So he brings a beautiful, beautiful Gemara in Sota that teaches us about Yosef and his test. First of all, off the bat, holiness is very misunderstood and very abstract word. Directly, in its most basic meaning, it means to be separated from sexual sin, to be modest. Anywhere that there is a mixing of the sexes and no modesty and nudity, that is the antithesis of holiness. And we know that Yosef was tested in this arena in the most difficult way. His boss's wife, Potiphar's wife, Zulecha, constantly was antagonizing him. And the Gemara over there in Sota. 36, Lamed Vav, the Bavli says that Yosef was almost this close of doing adultery. But what happened in the last seconds of the ninth inning? He saw the image of his father. And then he said to himself, I'm the apple of my father's eye. How can I disappoint him and go do adultery and animalistic and the most disgusting and despicable act. And that's how Yosef was able to overcome the most powerful and dangerous urge of doing sexual sin by what? The image of Yaakov. So that's what the Torah is saying. The Torah is saying that, and tonight actually is Tiferet, Yesod Shevet Tiferet, which is Yaakov and Yosef's Mida. It's fascinating. I just thought about that. <laughs> Basically, the idea is, is that holiness is absorbed and the personification of it is from our parents, from the, our Rebbe, from our Mesorah, from our tradition. And this is such an important idea that the Orachaim says is that if you actually have a wonderful, righteous father and mother or grandfather or Rebbe, it's Kabbalistically, if you close your eyes and meditate about their face and their personality, it's going to add holiness to you. And that's what the Torah is teaching us. Holiness is abstract. How do we learn it in the most practical level? Follow in the footsteps of the holy and righteous people of the previous generations. And... I heard, I said this to our Torah in Baltimore many years ago. So somebody comes over to me and says a most amazing story with the Rosh Hashiva of YU, Rav Yashav Bear. He said when Rav Yashav Bear was in Boston, I forgot the gentleman's name, but he used to learn with him. Bechavruta. He, he would always be around him, try to learn from his great genius wisdom of Torah and life. And he says the most perplexing and difficult questions when Rav Yashov Ber had, he actually did something very amazing and fascinating. He would lock himself in a room, not with the Shulchan Aruch or Shas, but the Rosh Hashiva of YU would actually tell his student what I would do in that room was I would close my eyes and meditate on the face of my holy grandfather, the Brisker of Chaim Brisk, which was really the godfather of the modern way that we learn in the yeshivas. And I would keep on thinking, how would he decide this most difficult question of life and death? And up to an hour, he would stay in the room locked in, and finally he would come out, because through connecting to the image of his grandfather, the Rav Chaim Brisk, he would come to the conclusion and it could be that the Orachayim HaKadosh, I understand it in a more practical way. Unfortunately, not everybody's parents may be the holiest or greatest people in the world, but we do have spiritual parents. Our Rebbe's, our Rosh Hashivas, 
And that's why every, it's incumbent upon everybody that if we have the opportunity to sit at the door, at the table, at the feet of the greatest of Torah scholars, we should. Because one day we're going to be in difficult situations and we have to close our eyes and imagine how would my Rebbe that I learned according to the formula of life that I saw personification of holiness and Torah, how would he decide? And that's why in Pirkei Avot, numerous times in the first chapter, it says, make a rabbi for yourself. Go in the dust of their feet. Be thirsty for them. Be connected. Because that's the way that ultimately we're connected to holiness. And may Hashem help us to be a holy nation. Because that's the goal of the entire Torah. Amen.